Whoa, not my horse. Look at that lad. He's slicing down. Oh my god, this guy's a beast. <laughs> Where'd that guy have just got four kills in a row? Oh god. Jesus Christ. It's a joy to send him flying. Wow, his Jared's are pretty. Did you just trick shot that guy while I was explaining how good you are? Quick ad. Are you into investing, but you've always been told to diversify your portfolio, find interesting things to invest in? Now, this video is sponsored by Masterworks, a very interesting company that came to me. I have to say that this is not financial advice. I know it's a little bit of a meme, but your investments can go up or can go down depending on what you choose. But if you're into fine art, Masterworks is the best way to get into it. The total wealth held in art is $1.7 trillion dollars and it is well known as being a good appreciating asset in a lot of cases but what if you have no idea how to get started investing in fine art or you don't even have the cash in order to buy a painting well masterworks is your way to get into that you can buy and sell fractional shares in high value works of art or of course full pieces if you have the funds to put into it of course as that art is sold goes up or down you will see that come back in the shares that you have bought you see the problem with stocks and shares when you buy into them it goes up and down so much according to inflation but fine art tends to hold its value way more than a lot of other things the art market performs better during periods of this inflation so it seems like most of the time is quite a safe bet now unfortunately places like masterwork have a waitlist to sign up but you're in luck because with my code down below, you can skip that waitlist and start investing to get an exclusive invite today. Once again, this is not financial advice. You may lose or gain money, but Masterworks is your way into finding new investment opportunities within fine art. So click the link in the description below. I am but a poor merchant and I need an army. This is mercenaries only. And have you get, do you get the twist? It's Mountain Blade, but... We're only recruiting mercenaries. Got it? Good. Mercenaries can be very, very powerful, but there is one big feature. They're goddamn expensive. Not just to initially buy, but also to actually keep and withhold in your army. If you can't pay them, they're gonna run away. But nonetheless, we're gonna need money. And the way I know how to do it is fight. Death. 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 What? Death. Death. Death, 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 death. This guy just won't die. This is for Sam. My scamji. Take him off. Yay. Money. Yes, let's sell that. Ooh, 207. Let's buy some food. Now we have some mercenaries and we have some money. But we need more. Hey, look. Look at these lads. They could probably do a bit of damage. Well, this, this really doesn't feel like a fair fight. Mercenaries are actually pretty decent, it turns out. Sorry! The next big city is Ostakan. So that's where we're going to head with our lads. Let's hope we don't get attacked on... Oh my word, there's a lot of mountain bandits around here. We're just going to skirt right the way around. None of that, please, boys. None of that. More money for selling loot. Mmm, three... Twelve hundred... <coughs> <coughs> Makes me feel a bit sick, that. Stupid crossbowmen overpricing themselves, ain't it? Stupid. Well, it seems like there's another level to this money thing. More tournaments it is. Yes, victory. Ooh, a lot of money that time. So we got a lot of... Ooh, Britannian thoroughbred. We could ride it, but let's sell it. Well, we have amassed a wealth of 10,000 denars. So let's get recruiting in... Seven... <laughs> now, these guys are expensive, but we have the Elite Mercenaries mod on. So we can recruit Centurions into our army. I'd like you to join another Centurion. Don't mind if I do. And the final round, of course, to another victory. Unless this, this Sergeant Crossbowman is extra good at fighting, which I'm really hoping he's not. But he seems to be putting up a little bit of an ordeal for us. But down he goes, and we did it. 1,600 plus a Sparther. This isn't even better than our axe, so we're selling it. Five Imperial Caravan Guards. <laughs> it's expensive, but we got the money. Okay, so let's have a regroup. Our hind spears need upgrading. They can go down the route of pikes to elite pikemen, or we can get crossbowmen. I think we're going to go down to pikes for now. I think that's going to be very useful, especially against bandits with cavalry. 
Now, our Centurions are going to do a great job. As far as I know, yep, they are the elite of the elite. You can't get much better and similar with these lads. But these Hyde Pikes, we can, of course, upgrade them in the future. 14 troops, but our party wages are 160 a day. That is so expensive. However, I think it's time to try them out. These caravan guards were a good idea. I didn't realize they had crossbows on horses. Oh, well, they also have horses. Oh, that is a shame for them. See, my spearmen took them out already. The pikes were a good idea. My caravan guards, whilst they are supposedly the top of their tree, they're still pretty rubbish. They're getting taken down pretty fast, but my centurions hopefully should wipe out these bandits. Easy peasy. Look at that lad, he is slicing down. Oh my god, this guy's a beast. Oh my word, that guy has just got four kills in a row. And there we have it, we lost one lad. Unfortunately, it was a hide spear. Not the end of the world, but we really don't want to be losing anyone. But this is what we wanted. Look at all these. But it's not the end, there is a hide out here. However, I feel like I might need a few more troops. You know what, we've got the Centurions. We can do this, easy. Now while we're attacking, I might as well tell you about this elite mercenaries mod. Of course, we can see we've got the Centurions. There's also five other elite tier mercenaries that it adds to the game. Sturgeon Berserkers, Blanding Crusaders, Batanian Highlanders, Azurai Immortals, and Kuzate Warlords. They can all be recruited from their retrospective cultures, which is why we've run into a few Centurions, because we're in the Empire territory at the moment. And they are complete tier six elites. Uh, hence the name elite mercenaries that, that was probably explained they're also like pretty fast they've got very high athletics and that, that, that's not even taking into account their throwing weaponry well i guess if i'm to inspire mercenaries i better do this myself eh oh dear this could end in disaster take him down boys take him down oh god and with it more potential prisoners or should i say recruits for later so we are at the tavern right now. Now there will be a ransom broker. I wonder how much we can actually get for our money. It's not you. I think it might be you, lad. So if we ransomed all of these lads, he would give us 458. These guys can be actually upgraded later on. Do we really want to do that? We could get banner knights from it. But if we're going to be truly authentic, we should probably get rid of these guys and actually go fully mercenaries only. So let's do that. Speaking of mercenaries only, there was another centurion, and we've seen how good these guys are. Yes, they are very expensive, but I think they're definitely worth it, especially early game. Okay, so selling all of this should get us 1,900, back up to sort of a decent amount of money, but we have food in our bellies, so I think we're going to head south, because I know they definitely have some mercenaries we might want to check out. Sorry, I got distracted. I, I, I had to do this tournament. We got more money. And we got a banner. Now this banner increases range damage. We don't have any ranged troops at the moment, but that might be useful later. However, it is worth 1,200. Oh God, that's like an extra centurion. These banners are very useful if you have large armies, but we don't. Because if every archer had an increase of range damage by 0 0.08, that's a lot. But if it's a small army, which a mercenary army should be, it's not gonna help that much. So it's going. Speaking of more troops, so we are in the Azurai area at the moment, and I wanted to show off this. This is an Azurai Immortal, another elite mercenary added in with this modification. Yeah, I, th I think you'll do, mate. I think you'll do. How much are you? Okay, 900, same as Centurions. I think you'll probably have better Jarreds, though. I think it's time to try some of these lads out on some actual danger. So, of course, we have our beautiful Caravan Guards. They didn't prove to be that great, but hey-ho. We have more of them now. Centurions holding the front line and our beautiful Immortal, who I think is going to do a great job of taking down guys from afar. His Jareds are pretty... Did you just trick shot that guy while I was explaining how good you are? Come on, die. Fuck. <laughs> right, men, charge, get in there. It's time. Oh God, they don't stand a chance. I actually kind of feel bad about this. Oh my God, <laughs> this is just a slaughter. Even my basic javelins are just doing so much damage. Oh God, <laughs> Jesus Christ, so joy and send him flying. This was never a fair fight. This really never was gonna be a fair fight, was it? 273 per day now. This is getting so expensive for a 20 man army. There's another immortal. Right, let's ransom our prisoners and get that immortal. I actually wonder if it's worth getting a companion, because of course, that would technically be a mercenary. They are just chilling with us for that time. It's not It's not technically a recruit. So 
having a companion might definitely be worth it, especially if we can get them as prisoner heavy as we are, because that means we can make so much money from prisoners if we have our very high prisoner management skills. Two immortals. We are low on money here. We're going to have to do something. We only have 800 left. How much are you going to cost? This guy's 482. You know what? We're going to take him. This is going to get so expensive here. We only have 355. We should probably go and find some tournaments for a little bit of quick cash. <laughs> few tournaments later and well a few deaths we managed to amass a bit of money 11.3k to be exact let's do one more here just to get a tiny bit of extra dosh on the cards whoa i want that just get good son yes money eight imperial caravan guard is it worth it i think so so we're in the kuze area at the moment i actually wanted to show you guys some of the other elite mercenaries this is a kuze warlord he definitely looks the part so there's more centurions here we want to add them to our army we're really starting to grow now oh brilliant more immortals there's two of them as well the great thing about recruiting mercenaries is it really increases your leadership level which is a lot of fun so after quite some time of recruiting doing my thing we have managed to amass a decent sized army now i'm gonna let these guys do their own thing we've got a lot of cell swords at the front that we got in azurai territory of course we've got our immortals and centurions they've been with us since the beginning the ogs and well what you're gonna find most of the time is <laughs> caravan guards like to join your fray they are very weak they they will get themselves destroyed but we'll let them do the thing anyway oh they seem to have a banner in their party like we need to take that guy out it will stop them using their buff from that banner if he gets killed it seems like they're going to take a position on top of the hill though i'm a bit worried about my horsemen i've let them do what they want to do but that seems like whoa that seems like death in their eyes we have a lot of javs though we have a lot of javs oh poor horsey whoa not my horse Oh, yes. Cell swords are pretty powerful as well. But still not on a level of immortals or centurions. So, you are now my prisoner because a good way to make money is going to be selling people like you, eh? And, oh, yes. You can actually be upgraded as well. Oh, yes. Okay, that's brilliant. Let's head here and sell a lot of our stuff. Our daily gold change is now minus 762. So, we've been having to sell a lot of stuff in order to keep up with this we need to go down this party wages route 1300 oh yes and some more outriders we also decided to treat ourselves a little bit to some armor from this place we were getting a little bit on the risky side we're in the valandian place and what we have just found if we can find where he's at over here a crusader <laughs> yes the valandians have some great troops as well and they're only 720 much cheaper and we wouldn't go amiss without a battalion highlander as well this guy is very very well equipped and 720 for an elite mercenary don't mind if i do after a long time of building the army it is time to try and finally check it out let's take these guys out and see what they say about the matter they made it inside how dare they well it wasn't enough and i caught them god i love this army so much this is an army of entirely mercenaries and it's been a lot of fun to build you know it it's an incredibly expensive way to play the game i mean we're on about 1200 a day which is unfathomable and probably actually not doable unless you have the perfect setup but hey in terms of trying to show off <laughs> what it would be like having four mercenaries and of course the elite mercenaries mod which is available on the steam workshop you can see how powerful some of these guys can be especially things like the immortals and the centurions Speaking of Immortals and Centurions, I think we're about to see some of them in action right now. So let's get them in there. Oh, we have a Sturgeon Berserker there as well. He's one of the elite mercenaries. Go on, lad. Do your job. Slice and dice him. You've got a massive axe on your back. You should probably use that. And the Azadai men didn't stand a single chance. It was always going to be a disaster for... Why have you fallen off your horse, mate? You didn't need to do that. Take him down, boys. Take him down. Beautiful work. They've lost their banner. It lies dead in the dirt. What a victory it has been to this day. An army built on nothing but cell swords seems to be pretty powerful. It, it, expensive, but powerful. <sighs> what, you're not getting life by bribing it with a bit of money, eh?